Leaders with Women Helping Women say that Cincinnati is on track to have the deadliest year for women in at least 20 years. Look at what's happening in Ohio right now. During COVID, we have a 35% spike in domestic violence fatalities. They say COVID-19 and systemic racism make the current climate so incredibly dangerous for survivors of gender-based violence. COVID-19 has decreased fundraising efforts to organizations that help survivors. Another downfall of it is that many of the victims are spending more time at home with their abusers. Women of color are disproportionately affected by these issues due to a lack of resources, and leaders in the city say things need to change. We've been doing three things. It's to educate, to invest, uh, and to influence every every talk that we, we say we do do these three things. In addition to investing in black owned businesses and the community, he says corporations, many based right here in Cincinnati, can make a huge difference in changing the culture and conversation through the power they hold. We saw hundreds of corporations say that black lives matter. It wasn't because they woke up and said, let's put out a statement. It's because there was some opinion leader you know, organizations like Fifth Third, Procter & Gamble that are here that led and it gave tacit approval for other organizations to do the same thing. Another problem they say has contributed to the uptick in violence is that the Violence Against Women Act was defunded by Congress last year after being implemented for nearly 20 years. Megan Mitchell, WLWT News 5.